on Larry King Now. Reverend Run is taking us on a journey around the world. It's the legendary Run DMC frontman and his wife, Justine Simmons. You guys have been married more than 20 years now. 21. 21. What keeps it going? Um, again. No, don't say happy wife, happy life. Well, that's my job. No, to, Joey, to... we're both selfless. And what do we see when you get there? Listen, you get to Dubai and you think you're gonna get one of these beautiful cars and she um, wants to get on camels. You know, it's like... But that's something that you will never get a chance to do. You're not gonna do that all the time. But you think so. of the beautiful luxury and she takes me to the desert instead of getting... beautiful. It. What do you make of every poll that shows there's a move away from religion in America? Up 6% six, six now, more than last year. I believe that there are many people that I've been encountering that are very faithful and, and they love God, so that statistic is very shocking to me. Plus, who's the best rapper today? Today, I would say... Don't say yourself, please. I, that's so funny, I was thinking that, but I realized he didn't, nobody knows, okay. All next on Larry King Now. Welcome to Larry King Now. Joseph Reverend Simmons is known, of course, as the frontman for the pioneering hip-hop trio Run DMC, a group many outlets, including MTV and VH1, have labeled the greatest of all time in the rap hip-hop category. From 2005 to 2009, he starred alongside his wife Justine, who also joins us, in the hit MTV reality show Run's House. And since then, Rev and Justine have continued to expand their TV empire with shows like Rev Run's Sunday Supper on the Cooking Channel and Rev Run's Renovation. Now, Rev and Justine are coming to you from the Travel Channel in their new series, Rev Runs Around the World, airing Wednesdays at 10 p.m. and again at 10.30 p.m. Why, what are you running from? I'm not running from anything. <laughs> they just try to use that little play on words, but actually, Run DMC, we went around the world. And when, you, when you're an entertainer or a performer, you get off the tour bus, and then when you get off the tour bus, you go to the show, and then you get back on the tour bus and you leave. So I said, you know what? I was always telling my wife, you know, um, she said, oh, Thailand. I said, I've been there, and then she'll ask me a question about it, like, I don't remember anything. So I said, let's go visit some of these places where I can remember something and make some memories, so. Justine, so what is it? You tell me the gist of the show. Well, I, I tried to go to places that he's been, but also some places that I wanted to go. And that you haven't been. Yeah, that I haven't been, and some of the kids wanted to go, like, to London. And so we just kind of tried to make it so that we can just go one way, straight through. Around and, the world. To save money around the world. and Taking kids? Yeah. We t only took two. And, and what do we see when you get there? That you see her, that she's open. driving me crazy. That, she what? drives you crazy no, all he around wasn't the world. Open. Yeah, no. well, listen, you get to Dubai and you think you're going to get one of these beautiful cars and she um, wants to get on camels. You know, it's like... But that's something that you will never get a chance to do. You're not going to do that all the time. But you think so. of the beautiful luxury and then she takes me to the desert instead of getting... beautiful. It. And then you think about it, you know, you think of Dubai, how luxurious. I'm thinking they shouldn't call it Dubai, they should call it don't buy. Because you don't want to buy everything. She had me like, it was like Dubai or not Dubai? That is the, the question. The whole time. It, was, it wasn't so nice. So I didn't get on the camels. I, I did Do not. we see these little arguments? On yeah, the it's all day. Believe it or yeah. not, it is all day. She got on the camel and I just chased the camel around screaming, hump day! Which was <laughs> no. ridiculous. Do you watch other reality shows? Yeah, I do. You watch the Kardashians? I do. And what do you get from that? Does it help you? I don't you know. I just, I just like the, the family that, you know, that, how they interact. They're, they're good I family. Just like, they, they, yeah. they hang together, and, and what shows me is that, you know, you see the Christmas day together, the Thanksgiving day together. Right. They're always pulling together, so I see a lot of love. There. You guys have been married more than 20 years now. 21. 21. What keeps it going? Um, again. 
No, don't say happy wife, happy life. Well, that's my job. No, to, Joey, to... we're both selfless. Okay. I care if you're uh, upset or mad. You care if I'm upset or mad. And does this happen a lot that he's upset or mad, <laughs> that you're upset or mad? Yeah. <laughs> I just try to it keep does. the peace, and I, I do think, a good job. I think the, prob the thing with Joey and I, he thinks he's right, I think I'm right. But now, for over the years, we found out nobody's really going to be right here. So now it's to the point. You got to have a man cave. You have a lot. Yeah, them. all over the house, little places the to go. The pool house now is his man cave. <laughs> the, the movie theater yeah, 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 is yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, everywhere. Russell Simmons is your brother. Yes. yes. What does he make of all this success? He laughs. He, he just laughs and, he laughs, laughs and laughs. But I laugh when they're together because nobody can get a word in edgewise. We were laughing all morning. I told him I was coming. He said, tell Larry. He just went on and on and on and on. I was like, all right, let me make sure I mention the Larry Russell. Well, you're very successful. Your brother is enormously successful. Yes, yes. Success reeks through the Simmonses, does well, it not? Well, thank God. I'm blessed. You know, the talent that God given us, so we're great. How about parenting in the millennial age? This is a tough time to be a parent, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Social media. It yeah, is. It's, it's hard. Re it's really hard, and it's hard for the kids because whereas you may have a little problem in school, now people can get online and talk about it and make you feel bad. I, I don't know why our children are so hurt because, you know, Joey and I always say hurt people hurt people. I don't know why they just pick on each other. I think they like to pull people down in order to pick themselves up. But you include them in everything you do, right? Yeah, I, I try to keep them, you know, their self-esteem up. I give them lots of love and lots of support. And, you know, if I, if somebody's feeling bad, I tell them what to, you know, how Can to... Can a reality them. show really be a reality show when there are cameras there? Yeah, yes. ours is. Ours is. You know, you turn on the cameras, it's not going to stop the fact, you know, of what's going on in our house. We don't... We don't particularly scripted. Yeah. It's like, what's going on in your house? I'll tell them at the beginning of the week, and then I'll start. But after a while, you don't even feel they're there. Exactly. Not now, yeah. No. Now it's just like so nothing. Next, Faith in the Modern Age. We're discussing the Rev's Inspired Mobility Campaign and a lot more when we come back. We're back with the Simmonses. Rev Run Simmons and Justine. They are the co-stars of Rev Runs Around the World. It airs Wednesdays at 10 and 10.30 on the Travel Channel. You became a Pentecostal minister 10 years ago. What took you to that? Well, I, you know, I didn't go to become a minister. I went because, you know, going through the industry, you, 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 you don't get a chance to really settle down. So when I um, started feeling a little empty, I started going to church. And in the church, you know, they offer you jobs to do, you know, like ushering and things like that. So I began to study and, and a couple of other people that's in there, the ushers, and I went from what you call a usher to a walking deacon. <laughs> Are you a minister? Do you yes, have a church? Yes. No, I don't have a church, but I find that um, my first pulpit was on MTV Run's house, but I have a license. I can marry you or bury you. I mean, pick pick one. I always Are you that religious, joke. Justine? I mean, yeah, I can say I'm spiritual as well. Are you a Pentecostal? Mm -hmm. uh, you pr you've partnered with AT&T to further spread your words of inspiration. What about hashtag inspired mobility? What is that? That is basically a, um, a hashtag that we put up when you want to talk to the masses about words of wisdom. I've always been doing words of wisdom. At one time, I was the most retweeted person in the history of Twitter. And it's all because of these words of wisdom that I give out every day. And AT&T called me, and when they called, I actually thought I owed some a bill. They <laughs> said, we don't want a check, we're looking to give you a check. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, you sure my phone is good? No, we love you. So let's team up together and make people aware about people, you know, and their faith. They're, they're, they're looking at um, Bibles online now. They're looking at, you know, preachers online. And so you could, there's so much you can do online. So we just made this hashtag inspired mobility, and, and I'm now AT&T's partner. And what do you do? You give out words? Of, Every day I give out different words of wisdom. Give an example. Like do your best and forget the rest. Or, you know, anything that has to do with inspiring somebody and keeping their day going, I, I write that word, and then I put hashtag inspired mobility. Other people retweet it and write hashtag inspired mobility, and then we have a conversation that we've been keeping going. What do you make of every poll that shows there's a move away from religion in America, up 6% six, six now, more uh, than last year? I don't know. No faith. Well, I, I, you know, I believe that there are many people that I've been encountering that 
are very faithful and, and they love God. So that statistic is very shocking to me. Yeah, but what do you make of there's been a, there's a lot of phonies in the religious right, business right, right. who are selling, you know, right. follow me and I'll send you this gold piece. Right. right. Doesn't right. that hurt you? Well, you know, I don't know if they're all phonies. Many people that are um, giving some people to have hope um, are considered phonies to some, but then others you'll hear testimony saying that, you know, when you're not really spiritual, you don't understand spiritual things. So you run into a pastor that says, you know, this piece of, you know, cloth. cloth will bring healing to you. And now another person will say, you know what, that sounds like a fake thing to me, but you know what, even you've never seen God. So it's like, it's like wind. You don't see wind, but that doesn't mean it's not there. So many times, you know, even when a person touched the hem of Jesus' garment, um, she was healed. So many things that are spiritual are not very popular to those of a carnal mind because they won't understand um, some anointing oil. They don't understand somebody laying hands. They won't understand Were somebody. Were you always religious? No, I wasn't always religious, but I know that I had to believe in a power that was higher than I. Now, now, do I think there are some phony preachers? Maybe. But God um, is always faithful. And to have a, a faith of a mustard seed, you know, is a big deal to God. He, he wants you to believe the Bible talks about the foolish things. So when we look at TV, you'll say, why is this pastor saying when he lays hands on you that you'll be healed? That's foolish to the world. But spiritual things are always foolish to people of carnal mindsets. When you see a thing like San Bernardino, mm -hmm. that doesn't f test your faith? No, it never tests my faith, but I also feel like he's speaking, he's trying to get maybe attention, our attention, you know. Um, Pretty weird like way to get it. <laughs> I don't think he's making Not things him, happen. Right. It's making us to decide things that we have to change. To like fix. you said, the, the percentage is down for religious people. Maybe that's the problem. We're getting religion out of our schools and different things. Are you politically involved? No. no. Don't, I don't talk mm -mm. politics ever. You don't endorse candidates or anything? I, never on television, never. I keep my, my po po politics is so weird that I don't speak about them. Mm -hmm. I just kind of keep that one to myself. You worry about guns in America? I do. I, I worry about, you know, guns and... and Didn't, wasn't there a shooting in your life that affected you? Yeah, Jam Master Jay. It was very hurtful for me. I was in church during that time. You know, I had to have a lot of faith um, during that time. And, Did they know, find out who killed him? They still have not. Um, but I have faith that um, everything will come to a head soon. And, um, I mean, I come from Hollis, Queens, and it's just a reality that I grew up in that is lots of gun violence. When we return, Rev will take us back to the glory days of Run DMC's dominance. Don't click away. We're back with Joseph Rev Run Simmons and Justine Simmons. They are co-hosts of Rev Runs Around the World. It airs Wednesdays at 10 p.m. and 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the Travel Channel. You and, and Russell was on this show. You maintain a close relationship. You see him a lot? I spoke to him this morning, as a matter of fact. Meditation is a big part of his life. Oh, yeah. Is it your Yoga. part? Do you use it? Yes, I meditate every morning. Only difference, he meditates on the mat. I meditate in the tub. <laughs> I but get you in, used to do the mat yeah, for I did like some, a year with yeah, Russell. Maybe about two, two years. years yeah. I've done lots of yoga, but... Um, he stays in a tub. Yeah, my, for some reason, I guess maybe it's being a Scorpio as a sign. I just oh, love to be near the water. You are? I'm November 14th. 19th. Shut okay, up. so we're the same. That's so There it is. Same. So can't keep your hands off her, right? Nope. Oh, my God. That's not good, Larry. It is good for me. What sign are you? I'm a Sagittarius. I know. We love everybody. <laughs> but it's really bad that you said that. Y'all shouldn't be like that. That's why the we glam squad cuddle. keeps coming. They're only making it worse for the night. The best line I ever heard about horoscopes was Jack Jones, who said, I do not believe in horoscopes, but I'm a Capricorn. We don't believe in anything. That's ah, so funny. I like that's that. That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. That is. Okay, have you done with music now? Um, you know, I make music on the side. You know, basically, I, um, we do a couple of concerts a year, me and Daryl. We've done some charity concerts. We did the big Jay-Z concert where Ron Howard came to my house with the cameras, which was really cool. Great it was guy. called... Um, 
Made in America in Philadelphia. That was our first concert after maybe 20 years or so. I don't know, maybe 10. 20. What was the legacy of your group? Um, I think that Run DMC, we followed in the path of the earlier greats, like whether it was Grandmaster Flash or Curtis Blow, or Africa Bambata. A lot of the greats came from the Bronx, and then me and DMC came along in Queens a little bit later and put out our first record. It's like that, and. Um, you know, we just been very blessed to, that people, you know, gravitated towards the way we kept it real. You're still close with Daryl? Yeah, we do shows all the time. You know, I mean, we might do about 10 shows a year. So when we get together and we're about to go on stage, it's nothing but laughs. Are you a big fan of their music? I am, but I also was a rapper as well. She's trying to be funny. I'm, why, why did you keep saying that? So, Larry, in school, I had a group called The Fly Five. And they went 10. We went platinum, big difference. Go ahead, go ahead, go. Boy, you two are really... No, listen, Larry. I just don't want to bust a rhyme on Larry. Did that too. hurt you when he just said that? No, because I, what, truthfully what I feel, uh, I feel like he had Russell Simmons, his brother, to help him. Oh my God, if do we, we have to do Russell this? We're on Larry King. Just. Wait, oh, so you had Russell Simmons, she didn't have yeah, exactly. that's the whole reason she didn't make it. I would have, we probably, truthfully, would be... Would have be, been bigger than him. Exactly, and... I mean, okay, I won't say bigger than him, maybe not, but we probably would have been up there with Salt and Pepper, uh, still touring. Next question, Larry, can we move along? You, you went too deep, Larry. I'm she, good, she's though, going too but far. I'm just letting you know, Larry. I'm she good. took it too far, Larry. I don't care. What about the re the music business today? Records and uh, record sales aren't what they used well, to be. Well, the internet is... It's a different world. It is definitely a different world, you know, but you can, it's also you can prosper because back in the day you couldn't just put a record up on YouTube. There was no YouTube and get a record deal or get sales. You couldn't, you know, tweet out, you know, you can just wake up in the morning and you are your own record company. You put up a record, next thing you know, you don't even need a record company. You can just go touring off of your archives from being on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. It's not the same business, but I will tell you this. Adele sold close to four million records in her first week. Nothing. Somebody's buying something, somewhere. Who's the best rapper today? Today, I would say... Don't say yourself, please. I, that's so funny, I was thinking that, but I realized he didn't, nobody knows. Okay. She's entitled to think of Jay-Z. Jay-Z, but I also think Drake... Drake is great, too. And Kanye. Drake, yep, those He's are the top. an upcoming guys. one. Upcoming? Yeah. Diggy, uh, uh, well, my son, she's Diggy. gonna mention her son, Diggy. Which no, is my he son is also. good. He's really good. Diggy's had some success. And I really feel like he took after me when it came from. And there's rapping. some other newer ones, like, you know, Kendrick Lamar selling a. a what of makes records. a good uh, rapper, a good hip hop singer? What do you look for? Uh, you look for um, content, you look for character, you look for them being able to speak to many subjects and not just one. Diversity. Do all good mm. rappers write their own stuff? No, I don't believe that. Because you can have the talent. That's like question there's all good singers write their own stuff. They don't. Right. Exactly. And as long as you can, it, the delivery means everything. That's the most important thing, the delivery. Yep. If somebody is. writes your stuff, it doesn't mean that you can deliver. Like, I can deliver no matter oh, what Oh, back to her again. Okay. <laughs> Larry, please. Well, now you got your travel thing, you got your... Cooking. Pentecostal, your cooking. Yeah. Do you miss regular singing? Do you miss touring? No, I, do, I, I, I go out, like I said, a couple times a year. I do a lot of DJing. I have a um, residency in um, DJing in Vegas. I do quite at, a bit um, at um, Caesars Palace and at um, MGM. Um, it's uh, Hakkasan and Omnia and, and in, and in Vegas, Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Don't do that again. Okay, right. She keeps thinking like... Don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 no. Don't do that on TV. Who's the and that's boss in this relationship? She, she is. is. In our final moments, Reverend Justine will play a game of If You Only Do and we'll take some social media questions. We're back with the runs. I like that. I like that too. Rev Runs Around the World is the Travel Channel show airing Wednesdays 10 and 10.30 starring Joseph Reverend Simmons and Justine Simmons. We're going to play a game of If You Only Knew. I'll throw some quick questions at Let's you. Let's do it. Justine, what is Rev's favorite thing to do on a day off? Um, sit in the tub or jacuzzi or pool. Mm -hmm. What is Justine's favorite guilty pleasure? Sit on the computer and order things and look up things and not even only order, but look at all the different shoes and things for the house and shopping for Christmas all the way in June. It doesn't do matter. That. What is his funniest fan encounter? At the time, they weren't a fan. You met 
Jay Z on 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 the elevator. Oh yeah, that was pretty cool. See, yeah. we bumped into him on the elevator. Elevator, and we we. He had, wasn't Jay Z. But yet. he didn't tell me that he knew who I was. But I, I I think he said he knew who I was, but I didn't know who he was. But I did know. I said in my mind, this is some rapper guy that's on his way up. And the next thing you know, <laughs> he exploded. What's Justine's favorite thing to cook? Um. Well, she, what's weird that she cooks sometimes, out of nowhere, she'll cook fried plant and she'll get this big thing that looks like a banana. Next thing you know, she's cooking it. That's loving my it. favorite thing. What do I cook? You cook you a lot of stuff. I said, oh, what's your favorite thing that I cook? He didn't ask that. Oh. I asked what you think her favorite thing is. What is, what cook. is her favorite thing you cook? Oh, that's that she good. she cooks for you. Oh, for me? Oh, okay. Planting. That was no. good, honey. Okay. I didn't realize it. My answer to that is she makes really good ribs and really good lasagna. Justine, who would we be surprised to her that Rev listens to? Frank Sinatra. Hey, hey. Hey, can you beat it? That's the man. Yeah. Of course it is. All, all the time. It's all in my car. What is his least favorite thing to do around the house? He doesn't do anything. <laughs> she, he skipped over me and gave you two questions in a row. I'm jealous. Okay. Next. Place to travel that you like the best? I would have to say... Bali was beautiful. Yours. Dubai and Iceland. Don't buy. <laughs> we have some uh, social media questions. Leslie Berry on the Larry King Now blog. Is there a rap artist in today's day and age who you think is transformative or as impactful as DMC? I won't say, I can't say anybody has been able to go that far to break it down, but somebody who's doing something very unique is Drake because he sings and raps at the same time. At Buff Vegaso on Twitter, what's your favorite memory from your Run DMC days? Um, when we got our Adidas deal endorsement, I told a crowd to put up um, their Adidas sneaker, and 20,000 sneakers went up in the air. The representative for Adidas said, when we get off, you know what we're going to do. And then we created our own sneaker line. Wow. Bob Vegson on Twitter asks, Justine, did you ever attend a Run DMC concert when you were younger? No, at the time, even though I was a rapper before that, I had got into a time of um, house music. So I was into house music. I didn't even know he was, believe it or not, we met when we were younger and we broke up. He became Run DMC. I didn't even know that was him until later. Somebody saw an old picture. Where'd you grow up? In Long Island, Strong Island. Where? Hempstead. You? Hollis, Queens. Jay Goldie on the Larry King Now blog. If Run DMC could collaborate with a rapper from today, who would it be? I would probably collaborate with, what are you doing? I'm not collaborating, you're not from today. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, um, I guess we would collaborate with Kanye West. Is Diggy going to release new music? Hannah Cavi asked that. He's on his way to the studio right now as we speak. Yeah. Yes, he'll have something up on Twitter by tonight or tomorrow. So the travel season, you've taped all the shows, right? All done, 16 yep. episodes. Is there going to be a season two? I hope so. There's a lot well, of more places we're on Larry I would King, like to go. Larry King now, this will help it a lot. Do you know where you'd like to go next? I would love Morocco. Um, Australia, down under. You silly. Hey, might. Was that London? That was might. Bloke. That's definitely London. Do you handle long flights well? Yes. Yes, if we love them. If it's bed. nice, you do. If it's a, you know, if we get lucky enough to get the bed seats, then you can push your button and go to sleep. Yeah. And no, right, mm -hmm. turbulence. turbulence. Right, yeah. we like it. Thank you both. You were great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you we Mr. love King. you so much. Bless your heart. Stop with the Mr. King. Oh. We love Big you. Big thanks to my guests Joseph Rev Run Simmons and Justine Simmons. Be sure to tune into their new show Rev Runs Around the World, airing Wednesdays at 10 p.m. and 10:30 on the Travel Channel. Be there.